Hello, uh, I'm Tim Zigby. Uh, I'm in my third year at Tele Conti, studying acting. I'm Mally O'Donnell. I'm from Cardiff in Wales. My name is Caleb Obadiah. I'm from Reading. So I'm originally from South Africa and I moved into this country when I was um, 14. It's taken a while to get here. I did half the first year, then I had to leave and come back, and then I've finally got to third year now. For a very long time I felt like I couldn't necessarily be a normal student until like, my circumstances were fixed. I know basically how it feels to go to a class, this was before RADA, and like, feel scared because I haven't paid my course fees or I might have jumped the barriers to get into London. Like, it's nice to feel wholly like I should be there and I don't have to worry about anything else. I can actually really commit. It's been a tough road. I do suffer from a gambling addiction, which is one of the biggest reasons why this bursary was really helpful for me. Now, I'm happy to say I'm nearly two years clean, but the problems from that impacted on my ability for the course. I think applying for bursaries and scholarships is so kind of fundamental for me because if I didn't have the bursary, if I didn't have any scholarship or bursaries, I just would not be able to study. I was questioning how am I going to get through third year and then this opportunity came up. It's such a lovely format, the way that it, they do it is that it's just an audition. I think the exposure is great that you get to audition in front of heads of theatres and casting directors. The audition was amazing. Being in a space like a big West End theatre in front of people and like-minded people from more drama schools and it was really fantastic. Going up for it, doing the audition and the interview bit, which was my favourite bit, getting them to see me, get a taste of who I am. When I found that I got the bursary, I was just ecstatic. I remember when I got the news that I was successful and then he fainted. I felt really grateful when I got the bursary. It was just kind of a nice little boost to be able to not have to stress about monetary issues. It just takes the stress off studying in London and studying at drama school. Very happy, but most importantly relieved because all the things that I would get so worried about at every start of every year, that was no longer a problem. Winning the bursary has uh, definitely changed my life. It's completely changed how I see the future. It allows me to actually put my work first. My mum and dad have been the biggest supporters throughout my time in drama school. As soon as I let them know that like, I was just the only person of my colour in my year and how much stress and strain they put onto me, I feel like they saw me in a different light of being like a stronger person. I've been really lucky to have a really supportive year. They inspire me every day, they're great to work with, to be able to have such an amazing company. My family have probably been a really big inspiration. They're all so supportive of me. They all know that, oh, this is what I want to do. I love telling stories. I love communicating with people. I love trying to understand how people think, why people do stuff. So for me, this is a perfect place to be. I want to say like there's actors out there, but it's actually just the people that I've met every single day, the teachers. In fact, my year, my, my year, they're, do you know how incredible they are? And the things that I've learned, they've made me who I am now. But then there's that side, but then there's also my mum. She's done so much and she has never moaned. She never complains, she just gets on with it. To be an actor, you have to be empathetic towards any kind of human being, regardless of where they come from, who they are and what they look like. So I think in the next five or 10 years, I'd really like to be able to explore that and have the opportunity to play loads of different roles that push me and that create different people. Yeah, I'm excited to leave and start playing and, and growing, but then I'm also sad because it's, it's just blinked. It's important for me as well to bring a different perspective and, and an educational approach to people who are privileged and don't look like me and to touch many different people but in different ways. I want to do good work. I want to do stuff that matters I want to do stuff where people know the person and their essence. I want people to actually know me. Really, I love what I do and I just want it to be my career. As my first step, I just want people to say, what do you do? I want to say, I'm an actor.